my name is Smini. Today we are going to see the video solution for the problem Hello Me Boxes. So this question is asked in code courses around 9th world due to. So let's get started with the problem statement. So the problem statement states that Theophany is a busy Theophany is busy after his last concert. As now he has to deliver many Hello Me's all over the world. He stored them in inside n boxes and each of which has some number AI written on them. So he wants to sort them in non-decreasing order based on their number. However, his machine works in a strange way. It can only reverse any subarray of boxes with length at most k. Okay. So find if it's possible to sort them using the number of any number of reverses. So we can perform as many operations as we need. And reversing a subarray means just choosing two indices i comma j. Uh, between n and come changing their a1 a1 a2 a into a1 a2 a1 i n minus 1 etc just reverse uh, the subarray and the length of the subarray is uh, j minus i plus 1 minus. so the input contains test cases so there are at most 100 test cases so okay and the first line of each test case contains two integers n and k so the number of boxes of length of maximum reverse you can even make it's just how many uh, maximum number of uh, sub array maximum size of the sub array which can be reversed okay and the next line contains the n integers basically the array so let's start how, what's the problem statement is saying the problem statement says that we have an array right an n sized array and now we need to sort this array sort this array sort but we can only use an operation called reverse the sub array we can only reverse a sub array and now what is a sub array so this this is a sub array this is a subarray, this whole part is a subarray, and this whole part is a subarray. Right? So it does mean that subarray is just means that a contiguous part of your original array. It should be continuous, okay? No matter the size, but it should the size. Absolutely it means the size should be less than the given array size and it should be continuous. Okay. It can be one, it can be two, three etc till n minus 1 okay so we have an operation reverse the sub array and we need to find if it's possible to reverse the array using the given operation any number of times okay any number of times but they have given a condition called we can at most select k sub, uh, size carry case size sub array we can at most select this much size sub array and we can reverse we shouldn't able to do greater than k okay so i think the problem statement is clear let's see what how can we approach this problem so before discussing about the problem i just wanted to discuss some topic so i think everybody knows what uh, swapping two elements is right so let's suppose I have an array 1, 2, 3, 4 and just wanted to swap these two elements so the array becomes 1, 2, 4, 3, right? And if I swap these two, it just becomes 1, 4, 2, 3, right? So what is this? Don't you think you're just reversing a sub array of size 2, right? So swap means just reversing a sub array of size 2 so we got something right we observed something swapping two elements is just nothing means reversing a size uh, uh, reversing a sub array of size 2 right so why we are discussing about swap right they are setting something reversing the sub array and why we need to discuss this thing don't you think guys if my size of the k is greater than 2 greater than 1 actually then I can say my answer is always yes why because no matter the value of k they give if it is greater than 1 
I can always take my k is equal to two and swap any part of the like swap the contiguous subarray like this. K equal to two means what? Swapping two elements only, right? K equal to two is nothing but swapping two elements. Swapping, right? <coughs> Now. why is it possible to sort array always when k is equal to 2 so let's suppose let's consider one case like we have uh, 4 3 2 1 array and our k given as uh, like 5 no sorry 5 not like 3 so so i observe something that k is greater than 1 uh, right so now i will take my size of the sub array to be 2 so now i will see the array so so my one is the smallest thing right it should be at the front so now what i will do is i will just swap these two elements right so the array becomes 4 3 1 2 right now again my position of one should be at the first so again i will swap so again i will swap these two So now four one three two. Now again I will swap these two. Now my array becomes one four three two. So see what happened just. Our one initially at the last came to the front, right? Now two is at the last. We need two to be at the second place, right? So what I will do again? I will just again swap these two elements. So now my array becomes one four two three. And again, I will swap these two elements. Now one four, sorry, one two four three, right? So my two one and two got sorted. And now at the last, again I have four and three at the last. So I, at last I will swap those two also, and this becomes sorted. So don't you think uh, swapping two elements? You have the operation sw of uh, swapping two elements. So you can always sort the array. right i guess this much is clear and we will discuss some edge case now so what if my given k is 0 and my array is this thing so you said uh, i said sorry i said whenever the k is greater than 1 it's always possible to sort but here the k is 0 so the answer is no actually but it is yes because why just look at the array once it's already sorted there is nothing to be applied in this so we don't apply any operation it's already sorted so we just print yes right so we need to check only two things in this question two things first check if my k is greater than 1 or check if my given array is already sorted right so i hope this much is clear now we will move on to the code part so so i'm taking the test case input while well, tc minus minus so this is in n comma i don't say hey, this m is nothing but the k i just changed the uh, name it just the k Uh, I don't know why I did while doing the answer. So I'm taking the array v, and I'm also taking another array sorted named sorted. Okay, so this is the input part. I'm taking just the input of the given array, and I'm just pushing back all these uh, array elements into my sorted array. Why? Because see, I'm sorting this sorted array. Like you can say it's a duplicate array of the original array. I'm just sorting this duplicate array here. sort all sort all is like my template it's just sorts the elements of the array and uh, if v equal equal to v equal equal to sorted means my original array is equal equal to the sorted array or my k means here the m is greater than 1 my always my answer is always yes else no okay so this much is clear i guess and this is a simple code nothing to be applied complex so i think the question and answer is being clear so thank you